Hey everyone, uh, good morning. I want to talk about happiness today. And so basically, I love asking people just randomly, uh, are, are you happy? And it's interesting because uh, in most cases, they'll go right to their circumstances. Like for example, yes, I'm happy. My wife and I are getting along very well these days. Or, uh, you know, I got my, my dream truck or my dream car. Or, or my, my kids are just all in good places right now. And that's wonderful. And that, that, that makes a lot of sense. And that's basically how the world uh, measures happiness, is the right circumstances. But God's way of happiness is not the right circumstances. It's the right attitude. And where God took me today for this devotional is to Daniel chapter 3 with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Man, they had the right attitude. Because the bottom line is, our circumstances right now in the United States, it's a dumpster burn, and everyone knows it. There's social unrest, uh, there's governmental unrest, there's everything, there's, there's so much unrest, there's so much anger out there. And so if we watch the news a little bit too much, uh, then basically we can get really down. And so we, we can't base our happiness on circumstances. We have to base it on something else. And that's the right attitude. And so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had it tougher than we have it. Basically, Nebuchadnezzar was king back then, and he was an egomaniac, man. He thought so much of himself. He built a 90-foot idol of himself. And he had a big band, and he would put the band in front of the idol, and they would march through town. And every time the band would light up and play his little anthem, you would have to bow down and worship the idol, thus worshiping King Nebuchadnezzar. Well, he knew that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego worshipped uh, the one and only true God. And he knew there would be a conflict there. In fact, he says in, in the third chapter, he says, If you don't worship me, I'll throw you into the blazing furnace. Then, what will your God do for you at that point? And I love this response. Here we go. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it, and he will rescue us from it, from your hand, O king. But here's, here's the knockout punch right here. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Now, and that is the fighting attitude we have to have every single day. Uh, as I've been telling the congregation at River of Life, I believe times are going to get rougher than better, uh, irregardless of who's our next president. But if that is true, your attitude is all important. So let's bring this attitude into our space. I think the number one attitude that we have to really foster and work on and kind of model it is humility. And that is a tough one. Now, humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's just thinking of yourself less. And it's putting other people first. And so today, here, here's what I'm going to do today. I mean, I can look at my circumstances right now and not everything's going like super duper, but most of it is. But still, I'm going to focus on other people. I have like four or five people right, after, right outside my office door. They're the staff here. We're both life. Man, I'm going to love on them. I'm going to listen to them. I'm going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to pray victory over them today. I can't wait to go home later on and, and just encounter my lovely wife, Anne. I'm going to listen to her, man. I, I'm going to I'm just look for opportunities to bless her. I'm going to put her before me. I'm going to put the needs of my staff before my needs. And that, that's what we have to do. And you might say, well, if, 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 if I do that, who, who's going who's gonna to fill me? Well, God does. That's how, that's how God works. When we have this attitude of putting God first and then others second and ourselves third, that's where the joy comes. And somehow God supernaturally fills us. And believe me, what goes around comes around. 
if you live this life where you're of, of an attitude trusting Christ and not your circumstances and being humble and putting others' needs before your own, I mean, people will see this in you. And you're going to have a down day once in a while. I do several times. And when that happens, God will send someone your way to encourage you. It just happened to me the other day when I was super down, just kind of looking at my circumstances, how I'm going to get out of this mess. And God had someone speak life into me about something I had said that meant a lot to them. So that's the way it works, folks. Trust God. Don't go the way of the world for happiness. Don't, don't rely on right circumstances. Rely on the right attitude. And her attitude is humility. It's coming under the mighty hand of God. Jesus said this, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Believe it. Bank on it. Have a great day. Heavenly Father, take this simple truth and just apply it to our lives. I pray peace and, and, and hope over those who are hurting. May all of us, whatever, whatever our circumstances, may we humble ourselves under your mighty hand and trust you to work in and through us to be a blessing to others for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, you all. Have a great day. And remember, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory because Jesus won the battle on the cross. Have a super day.